Hello girls and boys, how's it going? So statistics say that every six and a half minute, we check our phones. Not because we have to, but because we are addicted to this now. Could smartphones be the source of a new mental health crisis? New research shows smartphone addiction could be changing your brain. In fact, they are almost consuming us now. But what if I told you that the next wave of technology doesn't live on a screen? In fact, it almost disappears into our lives. This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now as I film this video and as you watch this video. So meet Johnny Ive. He's the man who built Apple's design language. He's the man responsible for the look and feel of almost all of Apple products, right from the iPhone to the AirPad, even the MacBook Pro. He's the guy who gave Apple the shape and the form that we love so much. And now he's on a mission to destroy the very screen that he obsessed about. And who's backing him? Our son, sunny boy, Sam Altman. Sam Altman is the guy who brought the world chat GPT. He's the same guy who believes that AI will reshape every job, every interaction, every system in a very, very non-intrusive way. Now, these two gentlemen are merging two companies to do probably what no tech company would even dare to think about. Kill the screen and bring AI directly into your life. But here's the catch. Will this revolutionize your life or will this even shred apart the tiny bit of privacy that you and me are so dearly holding on to. I am absolutely certain that we are literally on the brink of a, a new generation of technology that can make us our better selves. Let's break things down in this video and talk about it. Let's talk about how is John Ivey and Sam Altman collaborating? What are they building and why is it such a big deal? And then finally, let's talk about how DevOps, SRE, cloud engineers like you and me can take advantage of this shift and help propel and be ready for the next wave of our careers. If you're new here, my name is Savinder Puri and I've been in this build, release, DevOps, SRE area, software engineering for over two decades. You can log into LinkedIn and check my profile to know more about my details. Let's get started. So how are John Ivey and Sam Altman collaborating? Now in around 2019, when uh, John Ivey left Apple, he co-founded a company called Love From with his longtime collaborator, Mark Newson. Based in San Francisco, Love From is a creative agency that comprises the best talent in the world of designers, architects, musicians, filmmakers, engineers, artists, all sort of creative people top of the line in that part of the world. And they span work across various domains, including industrial design, user interface, architecture, and typography. In 2014, Johnny Ive, along with formal Apple colleagues, Scott Cannon, Evans Hankley, and Tang Tang, they founded a company called IO, which was a hardware-based startup aimed at developing AI-first native devices. This team assembled the top talent from Apple to create products that seamlessly integrate AI into daily life. And then our sunny boy Sam Altman comes in. And a couple of months back, OpenAI acquired LoveFrom and IO at $6.5 billion. This acquisition merges OpenAI's AI capability and love from and IO's design expertise to help develop a new generation of AI native products. So number two, what are these guys building and why is it such a big deal? So according to reports and one interview which both of these have done together, 
they are working on a device that is not a phone that's not a tablet but a compact screenless gadget designed to be contextually aware some people are thinking it is sort of the original ipod without the screen some sort of that variation of that design they are saying think of it like a personal ai companion without the intrusion of a screen no screen fully aware always listening and built to change how humans interact with ai and with machines forever this device is being called a third core device the first core device being the laptop the second core device being the phone and the third core device so how do we as devops cloud sre software engineers take advantage of this now the collaboration and the creation of this screenless device has massive implications for software engineers and for all of us let's break this down and see what all layers we can peel one by one let's start from the screenless ux layer what does that mean if you don't have a screen there is no user interface that you can see which means the traditional frameworks like react flutter which are visual they have to evolve what do they evolve into they evolve into voice they evolve into gestures and context becomes the primary form of interaction and not just type or clicks what is the impact developers will have to build applications that understand a natural language emotion tone even the ambient data where am i am i at my home where it is quiet am i at a train station where there are announcements going on am i on the street where there are honks where they have to filter out all of that noise and listen to only what i'm saying noise cancellation on the fly the second use case real time ai at the edge device now these devices obviously have to be fast they have to be responsive and they have to have security embedded in playing a very very key role what is the impact the software engineers will need to integrate lightweight llms edge interfacing probably even hybrid models with local and the cloud blending in seamlessly tensorflow light custom open ai embeddings maybe even work with onyx things like that and the app design will shift from server heavy to even driven edge architectures number 3 observability completely redefined because no screen means no visual feedback which means harder debugging what's the impact the sres need to build voice aware observability stacks logs won't just be errors but maybe natural language processing traces contextual intent flows maybe even ai hallucinations to deal with or markers to track that this is the point where the llm started hallucinating trap that point tools will need to include intent recognition accuracy the response time and the fallback frequency as metrics to track number 4 what about the devops pipeline they also have to adapt because you're no longer testing or deploying an application or a button or an api you are testing ai behavior what is the impact so the ci cd pipelines they will have to include ai model validation context accuracy checks integration testing for multimodal inputs which means more use of synthetic data chaos engineering of ai behavior and even model drift detection and techniques like that number 5 security and privacy become code level concerns because a device which is always listening is a privacy minefield what's the impact engineers must implement privacy preserving architectures maybe local processing federated learning things like that the zero trust model would become the default it also means maybe real time pii detection personal information detection reduction of personal information 
consent auditing will be built into the core logic not just at the ui level prompt number 6 the cloud infrastructure will also massively evolve because it's always on real time context aware which means a lot of event driven microservices maybe very low latency pipelines and low latency connections heavier use of probably serverless edge to core data flows and things like that what's the impact the infrastructure engineers will need to design diligent resilient scalable system that will handle unpredictable ai behavior and sudden input surges as well so if you're not learning voice ux on device ai privacy engineering llm pipeline automation you might just be left behind so finally to wrap things up we once held the future in our hands now it might be listening from our pockets or even watching from our collars who knows what shape form factor will come out this is not just another gadget this is a shift in how we live how we operate how we observe and how we protect technology for developers it's a new design language for devops it's infrastructure for ambient intelligence for sres it's reliability in a world where nobody sees your errors because there is no screen and for all of us it's a question will these devices serve our lives or slowly start to redefine them it's a time where we go from staring at mobile screens and that being an addiction and shortening our attention spans to ai almost dissolving around us and yet we become even more consumed with ai with always on devices that we are not even looking at but which are consuming us even more it's something to think about now's the time to think deeper to build smarter and to question even louder where are we going with this technology because the future isn't just waiting it is listening to us i'll see you in the next one